how's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode of Antarctica vlog number. I don't know what number, but look at it. We got a freaking blizzard out here, Bonzo. How does it make you feel? You know what's really awesome about blizzards? Is my tractor's broken. So I can have no place to, I have no way to basically shovel. I mean, like I could manually shovel if, if Hookin was here. Yeah, we'd I would definitely make Hookin manually shovel, shovel my entire property. But unfortunately he's not here. And look at these animals. Why are you so wet, donkey? Looks like you got literally ran with, you too? You guys, the sheep and these goats, and those goats are standing there, we built them these really nice buildings, okay? We covered it with plywood. Like, they can stay perfectly dry in there. And we come out and these donkeys are out in the freaking cold. Look at them. They're just soaking wet. I don't know what that's strat. Maybe they're hungry. We're going to, uh, and I'm gonna apologize in advance. There's gonna be a lot of watermarks on the lens throughout today's video. There's just nothing I can do about it, so I apologize. But we need to, uh, bless you. We need to uh, make sure the animals are fed, but basically going off of um, the idea that my tractor's completely broken. Key broke off in it, okay? And it also just sucks for plowing snow in general. I, at least I'm really bad at it. Um, and now it just won't start at all. And we're thinking, you know, since since the day day one of me moving here, Bonzo, what have you told me? Need an ATV, a full-size ATV. See, and so I bought him a mini one because Bonzo's just, he just, he I figured he would like the mini one better. Hookin's a big mini yeah, ATV he, guy. He loves but we thing. need a beefcake four-wheeler for a beefcake right here. Yeah. So we're thinking you know it's blizzarding outside so what better idea than to uh hook up a trailer and drive through it all the schools are closed today it's a freaking snow day so if that tells you how bad it is and it's just getting started it's supposed to snow just like it is right now for the next like 36 hours straight i'm gonna need something to plow the snow now you might be thinking flair why are you gonna need, need to go buy an atv with a plow on it when you've already got this thing that you could put a plow on it and you also have another one called the warthog down the farm and you have a tank and you have a truck why do you need an atv one atvs are freaking dope they're just it, it, the terrain rain at my house is just made for ATVs. You guys, we're gonna go on a little venture later today, assuming we get one. We'll go through the hills and stuff. This thing's, it's a beefcake. It's literally like driving a car through the woods. Not the easiest, but an ATV you can kind of move around. Plus an ATV with a plow is much more maneuverable. Can you move, you'll move less snow for sure. Like you're not gonna plow a ton of snow with it, but as far as like just getting in and just ripping up and down and doing like the driveway real quick and all the sidewalks and stuff like that, I feel like an ATV with a plow would be the strat. And then maybe one day I'll fix my tractor. But for now, since we've got a blizzard coming, we need something that can shovel snow today, like right freaking now. So we're going to head out there. But first, we got to feed these animals. The poor donkeys are out here just getting murked on. So we're going to take, I, I say we take a full bale of hay, put half of it in that building, half of it in that building, give them some grain, make sure their water's good. Those guys already have hay. We checked on them. Make sure the chickens are good. And then we're going to go off on an adventure, hook up the trailer and go find an ATV with the blade, try to bring home today, and then maybe do some tricks or something. We could have a wheelie contest in the snow. I heard that works really well. We should we should definitely have a wheelie contest. We could also take it off the ramp. It'll be a good, it'll be a good video. You guys should stay tuned. Oh yeah, Millie. Fresh friggin' hay. Yes, sir. All right, coming in hot, children. Come on, kids. How's it in here? Is it nice and dry? What up, kiddos? Oh, yay! There goes the little guys. Oh, dude, it's nice and warm in here. All right, dude, it's nice in here. I'm telling you, we can do a little 24-hour challenge, Bonzo. Oh, yeah, that'd be easy. Bonzo would enjoy a 24-hour challenge I'd in here. I'd love that. Okay, you got about half. What I was saying is the last two nights, the donkeys have been staying in the big shelter. Last night, the sheep stayed in it. We've got to make sure there's food in both both locations for them. There you go. You guys got plenty of hay now. Now, I know what you're thinking. Everybody don't got to join. I gave, I gave you guys enough on the other one. I know you guys are thinking, you need a feeder, something off the ground, otherwise a lot of this will go to waste. I understand that. We have a feeder. I just need to take the time to screw it into this wall to install it. Which we could, no, we, bet, we won't do that today, for sure. I mean, the thing is, whatever gets wasted, it's just bedding for them. It's not that big of a deal. Fresh bedding, you know, stuff like that, but. You need to dry off, my guy. Can we get, we can, a towel? can somebody get him a freaking Hook Dyson blow dryer at? out here? We need to dry this thing off. Dude, look how wet he is. You're gonna freeze your little freaking nuts off, my guy. You're not even eating. He says he wants grain. He definitely wants some grain. I say we, um, let's feed him grain in here and not make him sit outside. I want to grab some of those totes. Yeah, we have those rubber ones. Yeah. Let's put some totes in here and that way they don't have to eat the grain outside because I feel bad. Man, they're all wet. It's not that cold today, luckily. I mean, it's like 35, 34-ish. I don't know. I mean, I did everything I could. I guess it's, it's their choice. I mean, we have two really nice big buildings. You can tell we're not getting wet in here. It's nice and covered up, but let's go get some grain for these guys so they can stay uh, nutritionized. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, if you're hydrated, what's the food version? I said, I just said nutritionized. That's definitely not it. Anyone know? Maybe healthy, that's maybe that's healthy. a fun fan fun fan fact for the day. Comment it down below. What's what's the food version of hydrated? If you're gonna stay hydrated, you give them water. If you want to stay blank, you give them food. The world may never know. Whew. All right, Karen. Karen, 
Aaron. Nope. 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 Hey, Jeez. right here. Here, there's some right there. Rick, this is not working out as planned. What's that baby yelling about? I don't know. I'm getting attacked, boys. Abort! Abort mission! Come on, donkeys. Let's go to the next one. Let's go. Let's spread out a little bit, kids. All right, they got plenty of grain now. They haven't figured out that we're over here yet. Bonzo's hurting them. Oh God, here we go. I'm hurting them. Come on, Dale. Millie, get in the back. You gotta hurt them. You beefcake, get in here. Terrence. There you go. Donkey, come get some, buddy. All right, come on, let's go. You guys just had enough. Hey, donkey, donkey. Hey. Yeah, now the donkey's eating. I was trying to be nice and let you guys eat inside, but you just, the donkeys don't seem to want to play. Is that donkey eating the other stuff in there now? I think he was. It's just an absolute cluster, trying to make sure everything gets fed nutrition-wise. Sheep, the sheep are murking the hay right now. I threw, hey, I threw some grain in the hay to make them kind of dig around and, and eat that, but. Well, I would say everything's pretty much taken care of. You know, the number one priority is hay. Grain. <laughs> It's important, but you, they don't have to have the grain. The grain's just extra, extra nutrition and stuff like that. The biggest thing, as long as they have full hay, they can eat as much hay as they want all the time, and they've got water, your animals are gonna be good to go. And shelter, which we've got. Except the donkeys don't seem to like that for some reason. Anyways, on to the chickens. Nice. You know, when you tell someone like hooking, hey hooking, go clean up all the extension cords out there, and you find this, you know you hired the right guy. There you go. Okay, now we got three bowls of water. Three heated bowls, because Quacky just loves his water. <laughs> You guys staying warm? It's cold as hell out here, boys. You stay right there. Don't move. It's actually not that bad. It's just snowing. Wow, I am just really looking forward to trailering an ATV home in this. Well, I mean, at least the animals aren't dead. Isn't that right, Quacky? You killing it, buddy? Everybody's asking, what happened to your quack? I don't, Tom, what happened to his quack? I put this little piece of uh, siding here. Tom likes to live in there now, I guess. Tom, what's going on, bud? Quacking Tyrone? Keep doing quacky things. See you guys later. Phew! All right, well, made to the dealership. We actually see one already. We might get that one. It's OD green, which is what I want. Again, I apologize for the uh, raindrops and the lens. It's gonna happen a lot today. Um, and it already has a snow plow blade on. So we're gonna go inside. We're gonna talk to the folks here. This is where I've bought a few of my vehicles. We're gonna see what they've got. Cause again, we need something with a blade. So if they've, if they've got that one already hooked up with a blade, I guess we can go look at it real quick. Me and Bonzo were talking. Bonzo's a big ATV guy. He, he knows a lot. Oh, it's not that small. I think it's a Suzuki though. I don't know if that's a Strat or not, but we were saying like 400 size or bigger would probably be ideal. It doesn't look bad. Again, I don't know anything about Suzuki, but it see it already comes with a blade, which would be just that's perfect. That's a 400. That's a 400? Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that, I feel like that's big enough. Exactly. That's a 600, that's a 57. So this is the smallest one, but I like the color. I do too. Well, it's fine. Well, I mean, it, it can't be hard to mount that thing. It's gotta be just be a couple little pins and stuff. So maybe they've got another one. I would like maybe a 500. I think yeah. a 400, we're gonna be regretting it. Just maybe pushing snow. Power, push snow. Yeah, we're pushing snow and you know, Maybe, maybe putting a rope on the back and, and whipping hooking around on a snowboard or something. We're gonna need power for those activities. So well, we'll go inside and see what they've got. I mean, that thing looks pretty cool. Right, uh, puts out 44 horsepower. It's got uh, power steering even. Okay. Ooh, Ooh what's that one? That one is a 450. Oh, this is a little small. Kodiak. Dude, yeah. that's, that color's sick though. It is. Oh, I, I, is. I like that color a lot. On this, because okay. this one's not gonna have rebate. This one's yeah. gonna be a 2020. Yep, gotcha. Um, but you still get this. Four wheel drive, center pod, uh, pod light. The only difference is you get a steel rack versus plastic. Okay. And you do have uh, storage underneath that front rack Got too. Got it, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, kinda, I like the metal rack on it for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'll want to put some totes on it or something like that. Heck yeah. For sure. 450, but, I mean, that's should be putting out 38 horse. This is a, a 750, I believe. Dude, we would die. We can't have that. Dude, that thing looks that is sick. sick but we would, we would die so fast. Light on that? There's zero percent. There, we would die, million percent. Oh, that thing's a beast though, dude. It is. Oh, we would get hurt so fast. Or I can't. Have, I can't have nice things like this. Uh, no, no, no way. way. Five. Seventy. I mean, I probably seventy. I feel comfortable with that. What's? Ooh, look at the rack. Yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. See, yeah, that's right? the hunter's edition. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I need. That's, How much is this one? 
Yep. I like that one. I just Out of all of them, that's probably... And it's 570, which again, I I don't know anything about ATVs, but that yep. seems like the size that's like enough, but not too little, but not over... No, over Exactly. They, they put the same engine in their side-by-side. -side. It's already got a winch. It's already it's got already the got winch. Got it's already got storage. storage. Rubber plugs in the bottom so you can throw your drinks in there. Yep. I kind of like that one. I do too. So the price, I guess that one don't have a winch, never mind. That's yep. off the table. If you want something today, more than likely we're this gonna have something for this one. Okay. Or that uh, or Grizzly the, 700. The, the beast that yep, the is beast. Too, much, too much money. <laughs> a big one over there is definitely overkill, I feel like. I mean, yeah, we don't need it. We definitely don't need it. I mean, I feel like. What do you think? What do you think? Best bang for your buck? Yeah. This one? one? Yeah. It's kind of what I'm thinking. I think that, that other one's too nice. Yeah. It's too big. <laughs> It'll be. It should feel bad like using it. Yeah, it would, just, it would just be too big and bulky. I feel like yeah. too running around. This might be better. Shoo! Just kidding, folks. We left the ATV place. We're not getting an ATV, and we're going to a hibachi place. Actually, I'm just kidding. Again, we bought an ATV, and I don't want to show you guys. They're putting the plow on it. Um, it, I will give you a hint. It's one that you guys saw when we were looking, but I won't tell you which one and it's not the one that you guys think we got. Cause when I thought I was getting, I ended up not getting, I got a different one. It, it was one of the cooler ones that was there, but Bonzo has never been to a hibachi restaurant in his entire life. Like we were sitting there and they're like, yeah, it's going to be like two, three hours to mount this, mount it. Oh, I need my uh, keys. I forgot. I don't, we're not in the country and people steal cars out here. There we go. I, that wasn't like a, a jab at city folks, but you know, in the country, I just leave your keys in the truck. Can't do that out here. People drive away. Anyways, so I was like, oh, what are we gonna do for a couple hours? Well, there's a Bass Pro Shops near here, so we'll probably go dang on that, but we're looking at food and I see a sushi in a hibachi place. And I was like, I like joked about it. And Bonzo was like, I've never been. I'm like, wait, like ever? He's like, no, never been. So <laughs> we're obviously dressed yeah, for dressed the occasion for the here. <laughs> and uh, well, we're gonna go to this sushi hibachi place called Sakura. See, we're gonna see how good it is. You stay tuned. Hello. Hello. What do you want to drink? Excited. Oh, so it's excited. gonna be hot. Bro, spoon though. <laughs> you never had a spoon like this? No. Dude, this kid doesn't get out much. Oh yeah. How can you not like that taste? That's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. I got ginger. This is this the strat. Really? Should have told you, but it's a strat. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy the soup. Also, it's Bonzo's birthday. If you guys didn't know, so we'll see what kind of celebratory thing they <laughs> they do for him. Hello guys, how you doing? Good. I'm good. There you go. Okay. Any special occasion today? Birthday. Birthday? Woohoo! 21. 21? Yep. 21, yeah? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. You have a big mouth, sir. <laughs> All right. Nothing like sake to start off today. All right. <laughs> Ah. I told you. Fire man. Yeah. 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 Okay, another one. Okay, try again. You got a whip now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bonzo's gonna be black by the time we get back to the ATV place. That's the time I was there. Yeah, that's five or something. That's good. That's the pepper. Yeah. Hey. 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 Who's your daddy? <laughs> oh, a shot! I give you a shot, sir. To the bed, yeah. Come on, good. That's Oh god! Oh god! Why you do that to us? Oh, that's new. That's good stuff, huh? Yeah. Combo definitely cannot drive the ATV. Great water. I drive. That's some of the best fried rice I've ever had, not gonna lie. Bonzo's black, update for ya. And we're eating some rice. Waiting for the meat. Thank you. 
lobster big? It's, what was this, lobster? Yeah, king, uh, king lobster. <laughs> king, lo king lobster? Okay, we're gonna go in. I'm gonna go no, no soy sauce on, on one. Oh God. That's a good roll. You'll like that. Oh, dude, that's... <laughs> Lobster. That's fire. Way better than California roll. I'm also Way black. better than California roll. You're also black? Yeah. Yeah, everything tastes better when you're drunk. Um, so he's going to love all this. But wow, that was tasty. <laughs> mm. Man, this place slaps. I think we need to come back here a lot more often. No. Everything. Everything inspired. I do want to try some chicken. Chicken with yummy, yummy sauce. The yummy, yummy sauce is great. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Hey, here you go, Zabate! <laughs> oh, too long! All right, right, right! Yeah! Oh! Man, oh, man! Oh, yeah! There you go. There you go. Aha! Let's go, boys. Come on, come on, let's go, birthday boy. Okay, come on, you mix it for the five, five seconds. Right? Five seconds, yeah, three. yeah. Three, okay, three, okay. <laughs> my car, my car, three, my car. Very right. fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Close, get close, all right, okay. All right. One, two, two, one and a half, two, two and a half. Woo! <laughs> oh, God. Oh god, he's, he's done. He's done. <laughs> Absolutely obliterated. Shoo! Well, Bonzo's blacked and we still don't have a four-wheeler. And um, still got about two hours to kill, so I think we're gonna, gonna run into Bass Pro. I think I need a new coyote call. My coyote call, it didn't really break, but I accidentally left it outside in the rain and then I put a bunch of heavy things on it and it cracked. And I think we're just gonna end up going to buy a new coyote call. Cause we need to go do some thermal hunting. Whose sock is this? But that's definitely gotta be Bob. Whose sock is that? Do you, do you wear Under Armour socks? No. No? I only wear no. mids. Bro, what? Who's dangling a sock on my trailer? Oh, and, wh and why? What's the strat there, boys? That is very odd. I, I, put that there. I just saw that there. Anyways, we're going to Bass Pro. We're gonna go buy some stuff. Hopefully we'll get a four-wheeler today. You stay tuned. Oh, Places like this are just dangerous. You think an ATV place is dangerous? Come here, icing on the cake. Just wanted to buy something we don't need. Bonds is pretty good about finding stuff that we don't need that somehow convinces me to buy. We could shoot hook with a pellet gun. Slingshot. Slingshot hunting challenge. Think we can kill something? I love you, Simon. <laughs> a boat. Hey, no slingshot way. Arrow. You Bro, you got to do that for like frogs. Oh, you. I could definitely mark a frog. All right, we'll have to come back and film that in the summer. That's pretty cool. You literally like slingshot a, a whole arrow. Yeah, think if we got this for the chickens, you would never have uh, to refill it. Thing's huge. But seriously, think yeah. about it. Like chickens, you fill this whole thing up, you would never have to refill it. It would last like a year. And it's just gravity. They just come up and go and just peck at it. Why would that not be the greatest strat ever? Maybe in the spring. This spring we're gonna be doing a lot of renovations to the farm. You know, making making everything a little bit more automated. Right now I'm having to go down there every day and, and do food, water, stuff like that, which is fine, no big deal. But I'd like to get better systems for everything. We've got good systems, we need to make them great systems. But this is one idea I had was, what if we just put, you know, a deer feeder, filled it with chicken food, and let it sprinkle it everywhere, or like a gravity feeder like that. I think it would work pretty good. Anyways, I'm off topic. What do we come here this for? Is, this is what we needed. Right. This, is, this should be our target for target we got, practice. We got blow ups instead. Oh, yeah, true. We should use a shooting target in memory of James Pond. Rip my guy. All right, we need we gotta, we need to get a coyote call here. God damn. That's beefcake there. That's the that's banshee. That's, I feel like that's just excessive. $500. Why? Wow. They're so small. Yeah. I like how small they are. I just hope they're loud enough, but they should be. I would be. think they'd be they loud enough. Be. Ooh, 90 bucks. Yeah. Why don't these turn, does it have batteries? Let me try. I don't know what those batteries in it. Hello? I kind of, I like how small it is. Like I really liked my other call, but it's just it's kind of a big dangle at times. You know, just just for when you're just moseying around in the backyard. If you're going on like a serious coyote call, I could see where it come in handy. But just a little guy, I think we should try it. Yeah. How much is it? Ninety. I say let's try. It. It, this could be absolute garbage, but it's also ninety bucks. It's not that big of a deal. It's better than 400, 500 bucks. And the remote attaches. I always lose the remote. 
so that's pretty neat. And uh, and then they, and they simplify it. It's just like you just have like a few calls. You know, you don't have anything too crazy on there. You have coyote serenade, baby cottontail, jackrabbit, adult coyote, interrogation house. I mean, you got what you need. I say we try it. Well, we made our way to the uh, ATV accessories. We figured, hey, we're already here. My, well, we were looking at ATVs here. Looks like I got scammed. Just kidding, I didn't. Uh, we ended up getting. Oh, it's just it's a brand difference. You know, they've got basically the same model for like three, four grand cheaper here, but totally different. Basically, I can't tell you too much because I don't want to show you guys. I don't want to talk about what we're getting, which brand, but the brand I got is a little bit more reputable, I guess, than this one. But um, we we're looking at some. So some this one, some, yeah, you figure it out. Go, they both go three. Does have a tilting design? They both tilt. It's some. That it was one some looks like this, more right? heavy duty. This one looks better. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. One, it'll be fine. So these, we'll, we'll, we'll probably not install these today, I'm sure. See, we can put, we'll put this on the front of the ATV. Oh, dude, you can also stick them on the back. My, my, uh, AT, my, the uh, side-by-sides have that. Yeah. So we could also stick the guns in the back if you don't want them up front. Yeah. Like that other design, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, like, there's a lot of times, especially after trapping season, you only want to carry a gun for, like, if you see a coyote or something. So you just want it in the back, just dangling. But you don't really need to be strapped up all the way. Maybe let's just get one of these, see how we like it. If we like it, let's get another one. I, I like this idea better than that, to be honest. Maybe during trapping season, like the farm rig, Maybe that one, but having the guns kind of tucked up in a way, I feel like would be better than having them like just riding dirty up front. So we'll get this. Is there anything else we need? So like this, this one's longer. This one has more. Yeah. And the other one yeah. is, which with the other ones, what longer? It's this longer way? that way. I think this one's better. It's got, I mean, it's got a cup holder. So like you can just crank claws too. Like yeah. obviously a big added bonus there. Yeah. So I feel like this is definitely the one we want. So this is what happens when you have to wait around for an expensive toy you buy. You find toys, you find accessories for the toys that are also equally as expensive. To where it goes from being an expensive shopping trip to a very expensive shopping trip, which Bonzo is great at, if you didn't notice. But we're thinking about getting this little ATV trail box. Comment down below, is this one garbage or is there a way better one? I mean, it's only 130 bucks. If we don't end up using it someday, I can always sell it on like Facebook Marketplace for 100 bucks, no big deal. I mean, I probably won't mount it today, but it'd be nice just to keep during trapping season, trapping stuff. If I just want to go fish down by the pond one day, keep a little tackle in there, all that fun stuff. Figured, you know, a little bit of storage wouldn't hurt. So tools, stuff like that, tow straps. So now we have stuff to mount guns and stuff to put traps. So I think we're ready to go. Shoo! well. We made it back, finally. I called them, everything's good, the plow's attached, we're ready. Thank God the snow stopped and it freaking melted. Now we have nothing to plow. Except out at home we might have some. It, it seems to be a little bit cooler there. I mean, it's not concrete either, it's, it's gonna be rock. I was, at least by the animals, there's definitely gonna be something to plow. So I'll have something to do when I get back, uh, before it gets too dark, but uh, Buddy's gonna, he's gonna bring it around, they're filling up the gas right now, and you guys are gonna see it. I'm super excited. I think it's the cool, we, after, even after the fact that I bought it, we kind of walked around and looked at all of these. We think it's probably the coolest one here. I mean, besides like, maybe there's some that are like, you know, $20,000 dollars that are just like insane but like as far as like a, a normal priced atv i think it looks the coolest and it's got the most power out of any of the ones that we looked at and and they were able to put the blade on it and we got the back bench and we got the gun holder so we're gonna be freaking strapped atv and baby he should be out here any minute As you guys can see, new four-wheeler. Millie, what do you think, buddy? This thing's pretty sick. Well, I think we're gonna rip it around a little bit, take turns, hopefully don't die, and then try to plow some snow. That's the whole idea. This thing's a freaking beast. So what we ended up getting with, going with, is a Yamaha Grizzly 700. So this was the one, if you guys remember, a little bit ago in the video, I was like, we can't have that, way too nice, we'll kill ourselves. Well, looky here. It's your lucky day, folks, because we bought it. And uh, we'll probably get hurt. Uh, we do have a helmet. I would recommend wearing a helmet, but I am definitely too lazy to go inside and get it. I'll try to do not dangerous things. If we start getting wild, it's squirrely. You know what I mean? Bonzo starts getting squirrely, we'll get a helmet. Are we doing wheelies today? No. No dude, wheelies. Dude, I can't do wheelies in this. This thing <laughs> scares me. Like, it's so big. It's just like you're riding this like freaking dinosaur thing. Like, I don't even know. I like four wheelers this big, but I've never... I've only ridden them a couple times. Like, just with friends and stuff that yeah. had them. They've always, like, kind of scared me. Just because, like... You don't, you know, I'm not used to them yet. No roll cage. Yeah, and there's no roll cage. Like, they just, they're heavy. If this thing rolled on you, you would die. You know, keep that in mind. 
Good on Anyways, that. we'll start shredding. I knew you were doing that, so I turned, but I didn't turn fast enough. Got snow right in the eye. That, Did you guys get murked? I'm sorry. That look cool though. Yeah. Look cool. All right, you're, are you gonna do you up? Sure. Dude, this thing freaking shreds, bro. Sober. That's good. Bonzo's sober. It's also like five o'clock, and we were drinking. Well, he was drinking at like noon. Yeah. Like, so do you know you know how to lean, right? So don't yeah. roll it. Yeah. Sure. I'm not gonna do it as much as you. This is yours. This is your baby. I'm not. Gonna I'm roll not worried it. about that. You ain't gonna break. You're gonna break yourself. Yeah. Give it, give it a couple donuts like here. <laughs> the kid's an animal. All right, it's John Stern. Yo, dude, it shreds, yeah. bro. It's like, I don't want to go works. full throttle. No, no, it's scary full like, throttle. There's a lot more power than I was using. Dude. Were you going max? Nah, there's a couple times I, I, I pumped it all the way, but. Oh God, this was, this was worth every penny, boys. It was worth every penny. Just to come tear up the lawn. This is the backyard. Like the house is here. We have all the land in the world up there to shred, and yet we decide to mess up. Rip to this grass. The perfect. Bro. That's what I'm saying. We have all the land in the world, <laughs> and we decide to tear up the perfectly groomed grass in the backyard. You, you know how to lean, right? Yeah. Okay. On this side. Oh, oh my god, I missed it. Dude, John Sh bro. bro, you're scary, bro. Give us like two more good rips. Bro, you're you're a beast. John's scary, a beast, bro. bro. Shoo! John's a beast. beast. Hey, Jen, you're a beast, Check bro. Yeah. yeah. Here, let's uh bro, you would here, hang on. Let's let's okay, get in the mule. Let's go up top. Okay. Let's not mess up uh, let's not mess up the grass anymore. God, rip. <laughs> Rip, dude, John's an animal. He dude, is fearless. Like oh God, worth every penny, Bonzo. Oh, yeah, this is fun. Worth every penny. Look at the yard, bro. <laughs> Rip, Rip to the yard. But we're gonna go up top. We also have a ramp. We can't take off the ramp though with the blade. Yeah. I thought about that. You'll, you'll definitely mess the blade up. But we're gonna go up here and see if we can find some more flat ground to mess around on. Oh yeah, he is. He'll, he's gonna roll and regret it. I know you're adding this, John. Oh, there he goes. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. What did I just say? What did I just say? I said he's gonna roll it. Look, he threw himself. You were so close. We were about you I literally it. said, I said, John's way too confident. He's gonna roll it. And you literally Bro. rolled it. It literally just chucked you. Oh my you're, God. You're, you're, we just said you're way too confident, yeah, bro. It's fun, dude. That. It's so much fun. I cannot believe you just, I didn't get it. I don't think you guys saw it too, too great. But John basically turned and it caught. The it was the blade. It was the problem, we're drifting with the blade. That's, that's the problem. He was laying and in the he ground. literally, it spun, the, the four-wheeler went up on two wheels and it chucked him and he laid right there. I knew you were gonna do that. I was like, he's going way too fast. All right, all right, it's my turn. I'm gonna try not to do that. the best investment I've ever made. Oh my God. All right, you want, you want to rip a couple of arms I up? think you can go plow. You want me to go plow? Yeah. You're done? We need to not die today. That's I'll true. I'll rip it more tomorrow. That's true, we need some, uh, we need to uh, We need to rip it more at a later date. Comment, what should we do next? Besides uh, flip it, John, ch you can check that one off the list of, uh, of flipping on two sides and yeeting somebody across the pasture. <laughs> Ruin the backyard, check, you got that. Make the engine smoke and steam and make all sorts of kind of sound. And then I shut it off and oh, oh, it's fine. Good. Shutting it off and gear. in gears, not recommended, but I guess let's go try to plow snow. That's what we got this thing for. Yeah. <laughs>
Yee-hoo! Wow, look at the driveway. I mean, it's not the crispiest, cleanest thing in the world. It's doable. I mean, the thing is, you come back with a little shovel, do it. This, I mean, there's, there's also these little things which make it kind of sit low, like it wasn't all the way down. And we also, we're having issues, if you notice, we're messing around with it. When you lower it down, here, well, I'll just show the folks, maybe you guys have a solution for this, to be honest. When you want to lower it, it gets caught on that it's the uh it's the crimp it's the crimp for the cable gets caught on the little roller piece so i don't know i don't know if there's a solution for that basically what you have to do is you have to take the weight off of it have some basically you need two people for sure because you need somebody to take the weight off of it to release it to drop it back down huge pain so if you want it up like this to get it to go back down it's going to get caught unless you can figure out a solution if you guys have a solution let me know but basically it's the crimp on that piece it's getting caught on kind of like the the rail part it's not the end of the world it's kind of an inf i'm sure we can come up with a solution maybe you guys have one but honestly i'm pretty happy with this thing like i wasn't too sure ah, should we go the 700 should we go the 5 575 i even called brayden price and asked him what his thoughts are he's like dude either one's pretty good machine they're a little bit cheaper to go with the 575 but you know a little less power you know yamaha's good brand player's good brand i don't really care about the brand to be honest i mean they all they all seem to work just fine um but this is good. this is my first four wheeler like a full-size four-wheeler i'm pretty darn happy with it. i mean i think john's happy with it out of anybody you're just happy to be here true let's be honest true i'm happy you're here i thought for sure we were just gonna have to, we're gonna have a little memorial up at the top of the hill like we've been talking about like what do we do with all this space up on top of the hill it would just be john's memorial it would just have like a little cross and flowers up there Tombstone. tombs like a tombstone you can get buried in the backyard i buried my camera in the backyard bro that would be a dope title tell Kitchen me cut? no no bonzo too far too far no um uh, but no john you know aren't you glad I grabbed the helmet now. I, I was almost like, you know, and I was like, you know what? I might get down and dirty out there. I better go grab that helmet. And uh, it worked out good. Bonzo, Bonzo was good. I didn't, I didn't think I looked like I even tried to roll it or even got close. And then John, full scent Tokyo drift that ass off the four wheeler, got yeeted. And uh, I really wish I was filming better. But you guys saw the little, the back end of it of him just getting chucked. I mean, oh, that's gonna go, that's gonna go down in the books. It's one of the top, top ten moments on the channel of, of. I don't even know. Toy toy accidents, I guess. You know, I had me wiping out on the moped up there this summer, and now we got John in the winter. And the one person that I want to see on this, but he needs to sign a waiver first for liability reasons, don't sue me, is Hookin. If you put Hookin's little ass on this, boy, he would, dude, the way he was riding the mini, I, well, y'all are just going to stay tuned. Let me know. What should we do with this guy next? Like, obviously, I didn't get it just to plow my driveway one time, even though it's going to snow tomorrow, I'll probably have to plow it again. But, like, we want to do stuff with this. What can you do with the four wheeler? We're thinking a couple ideas snowboarding, I could pull you behind this. This thing actually works pretty because it's really maneuverable. So I mean, I could I could slingshot your ass to Mars if I really wanted to. If you guys want to see that video, you let me know. I'm thinking tie a rope, put Bonzo on a little saucer sled and just mm, just take them through all the hills and just yeet them. And I think it'd be a good time. Actually, let's just put, let's make hooking. We'll go nice okay. and easy with you, but then hooking, we'll just see if we can just like yeet him off a terrace and see how much air he can get. <laughs> Say it's a competition or something like that. You guys always, you guys always comment that I'm, I'm harassing hooking. Listen, if you, if you, if you worked with hooking, you would understand what we're coming from here. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, give me some ideas. Also, name it. We need a name for it, even though we haven't named the new mule. I guess we haven't really named that Just guy. Mule. But we got the tank. We got the warthog. We got the mule. We have the bro ped. We have the. What do we call the moped? Do we just call it the moped? We definitely named it. It was. It was something funny. But now I can't remember. Wow, that's that's sad. And then the mini ATV. You just called it the mini ATV. But we need a name for this guy. What do you think, Grizzly? The Yamaha Grizzly with a plow on it. What do you think this guy should be called? Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.